I've noticed a particular pattern around people and their birthdays, like how their behavior starts to change as their birthday is approaching. They start to become a little bit sadder or nonchalant or just uninterested. Or they get really like anxious, really nervous, and like really like kind of like annoying <laughs> or um, bratty. Even with myself included, whenever my birthday comes around, I do get a little bit, not depressed, but like sad. My birthday's in two days, literally. It's February 23rd today. So my birthday's on, on the 25th. And like all month long, or even before this month, like for the last two months, everybody's been asking me, Benita, what are you gonna do for your birthday? What do you wanna do? Like, all right, it's coming down. Let us know, let us know, let us know. And now it's like, it's here. And I'm so indecisive that I'm like, shit. I waited too long and now, I'm not doing anything for my birthday. I'm like, curious to know why it is that I get that way. Some birthdays are really fun, and some birthdays are just like really trash for me. At this point, I've just adapted, so it doesn't really like phase me anymore. I'm just like, okay, my birthday's coming up. Last year, I did have a brunch, and that was fun. We got really drunk. Like, you can see it on my YouTube page, actually. The year before that, I went to Bermuda. I would say my 25th and my 26th birthday are the best birthdays that I've ever had. They're the only birthdays that I really remember, honestly, that really like stood out to me. That I actually had genuine fun, had genuine people around me, and I just, I felt like it was about me, you know? Um, I was doing a little bit of research to see like, why, why is it that we get a little bit sad around our birthdays or birthday blues as they call it like why is that so i just want to share a few things in case anybody else is feeling like that too uh, i know i can't be the only one who gets like the birthday blues or feels a little bit like disconnected during their birthdays i feel like all year round like i have everybody's everybody's birthday right in here right in my calendar i have everybody's birthday i know when it is for my closest friends whatever they want to do i'm right there with it i'm trying to help them plan their stuff out like and everybody gets the same way. Everybody's so indecisive until like last minute. Then it's like, oh, okay, I want to do this. Like, I'm just that type of friend that like your birthday is just as important to me as my own. So I want to be right there with you to celebrate it. I want to make you feel special. That's just how I am. There's this like unspoken idea around birthdays that like it has to be big, epic. Oh, you can get a surprise birthday party. I think for me, I've always wanted like to get like a surprise all white birthday party. Like I want everybody to be dressed in all white. Like I don't know what it is, but. I always said, oh, for my 25th birthday, I want to have an all-white birthday party. Or, but I've always wanted somebody else to throw me a surprise party. So I think, <laughs> I don't know. That doesn't really happen, at least not in my circle. I've never planned a surprise birthday party for anybody either. So can I? do I really have the right to sit here and expect somebody to throw me a surprise birthday party if I've never thrown them one? Like, do I really? No. But I've always wanted, like, a surprise birthday party. I think another thing that contributes to, like, the birthday blues is the gift right like it's your birthday you expect to get a gift a good gift at that um for me i've never had anybody give me like a gift that was just so it was just exactly what i wanted you know what i mean uh, and i hate to be you know you hate to be ungrateful and i'm never ungrateful so anything that anybody ever gifts me i'm always appreciative of but i think the last two birthdays i've really just started i started this new thing where anything that i wanted i literally got myself this started on my 25th birthday. That was my golden birthday too, because my birthday's on the 25th. So 25 on the 25th. So I was like, whatever you want, girl, you're gonna get it. I worked so hard that year, um, and I literally bought myself everything that I wanted at that moment. Everything that was like, every, in like my shopping cart, my wish list, anything that I was like, oh, I've always wanted Louis Vuitton. Like whatever I could get myself, I literally cleaned out my bank and like I got myself just because I'm like, this is my 25th birthday my golden birthday i'm gonna live it up i even took myself on a trip to bermuda with you know my friends as well but i was like yeah like i'm not waiting around no more for anybody to make my birthday dreams and whatever come true i'm gonna do it myself so i started that my 25th birthday i did that as well on my 26th birthday and i did it as well now like this month i've been buying myself every that's why like you guys are always gonna see a whole bunch of clothes and shit in my room because bitch i'm a shopper like i'm a shopaholic i love to buy clothes like whatever makes me feel good i'm gonna do it because who else is gonna do it if nobody else got me i have to have myself so whatever i want i get myself I buy myself this camera with this great bomb ass quality that i'm still trying to like figure out the lighting and all that too but whatever i wanted or whatever I want and can get myself, I'm going to do it. So I think that's a good tradition I'm going to practice each year instead of expecting 
even though like I try not to expect, but still, you know, in the back of your mind, you're like, mm, just maybe somebody's gonna try to make me feel special. No, we have to like let go of expectations. Do it yourself. Be that somebody for yourself. I've really been taking it upon myself to make myself happy. I stopped relying on other people to do that for me and it just became better. Like I'm completely content with not doing anything this year for my birthday. Completely content with hanging out with people individually. Anybody who wants to hang out with me, they have my number, they know how to reach me, they can get in contact with me. Otherwise, I'll be hanging out with the, the best person I, I know to hang out with, myself. <laughs> and also a big tip to remember is that people can't read your mind. So it's up to you to really let them know if you want to have like a, a big celebration or a small celebration so that it can it can come into fruition but if you don't say nothing if you're just like oh i don't know i don't know and nothing happens you're gonna be pissed off because you really did know that you wanted something but you didn't speak up you didn't voice it i don't have any regrets for this birthday but a few months ago i was thinking about taking like a solo trip somewhere um so i kind of wish that i would have done that i wish i would have budgeted right and made sure i had enough like paid time off ptos to be able to go to go somewhere you know just by myself for like four days or something for the weekend or something um that's the only thing i wish i would have thought more of i spent so much time and money on other people's birthdays other people's like plans and and moves and stuff that like when it came to me i kind of like put myself to the back burner um because i was kind of relying on somebody else to take me somewhere which was stupid i should have just been relying on myself so I know that for the next time, for next year. Like, if I want to go somewhere, I'm just going to go by myself. I'm just going to, like, already plan it, already book it, make sure that, like, make sure that I already have budgeted the right amount to be able to afford going somewhere and just, like, ducking out for a few days, you know? Pisces gang, shout out to all my other Pisces out there. It's that motherfucking birthday, bitch. Fucking birthday